Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Super Motherload, which is a deck building game all about running mining operations below the surface of Mars as you dig deeper and deeper and deeper for more valuable minerals. And I'll be doing a two player run through today, so you might decide if this was a game for you and yours. Let's just jump right into it. Now, we've already got the game set up. Here we are on the surface of Mars. You can already start to see some of all the goodies that lie in wait for us down below. And now, this is just the first of several tiles. And you can actually see there's two sides. It could have been either one. Let's just make it this one. But we're going to be continuing to dig deeper and deeper. And with more players, there's even another tile as we go deeper and deeper and deeper. But at the beginning, we start off on the surface with our our starting deck of employees that will let us drill in different ways. Now, as you can see, each player, I am the green player, I've got four different employee stacks that will allow me to hire additional employees over the course of the game. You, you can either consider them hiring them or training the ones you already have. And over time, you know, like the, this card, if I want to add it to my deck, the first one from this deck costs 10, and then 15, and then 20, I believe, and then 25. So each four, all four of these stacks get Get progressively more expensive. And the interesting thing is there is some asymmetry because if you look at me, the green player, and the, the people I have access to, they have different powers and special abilities than the ones Jen has right from the get-go. Although she also has four stacks of employee cards that she could hire from, but as she does it, she'll be unlocking different abilities and whatnot. So, also, each of us starts with one bomb that we could use to blow some stuff up real good. And then finally, there are several achievements. Now, these three are major achievements, the uh, really big ones. They're worth, you know, five points a pop. First player to achieve any of these things gets it. That's five more points towards the end of the game. Um, then there's also minor achievements. Now, there's a whole deck of minor achievements. With the major achievements, every time you play, there's just going to be three chosen at random from this deck of major achievements. And those, these are going to be the only three major achievements in the game. But every time you complete a minor achievement, which are worth less points, new ones keep coming out over the course of the game. So... Let's get going, shall we? All right, I'll be the first player. And so at the beginning of the game, I should have a starting hand of four cards. Although normally at the end of your turn, you, if you have more than five cards in your hand at the end of the turn, you have to discard down to five. But my starting hand is four. And let's see, if I actually sort them a little bit, you'll notice I happen to get two blue employees, one red and one yellow. Now, e whichever one of these cards I play, they all, all of these ones have the same basic power, which is drill in their you know, unique color. But as I hire more and more of them, like this one lets me do two red drills or two orange drills. This one lets me do a blue drill and draw a card. This one lets me do a multicolor drill. I mean, so it could be any color I want. Lets me draw a card and um, also lets me, which, what is that symbol? That is the symbol for... Um, do not have to be... Oh, right. Oh, yeah. That's for um, how I can deploy the minerals I find. I don't have to put them all in one stack. Right. So, and again, as you can see, Jen, she's looking at different ones. You know, that's the draw card. This is the guy that lets her drill diagonally. Uh, normally, you have to always go orthogonally, but you can go diagonally. So, anyway... On my turn, I get to do two actions, and those actions can be any combination of draw more cards. So my two actions, I could draw two more cards so I have a bigger hand. I can drill, which means I use these uh, drill bits. I play cards to start drilling and collecting stuff from under the surface of Mars. Or I can bomb. If I've got bombs, at the beginning of the game I have one bomb, and I have a red card. See, I could use this red card either for its drill power or its bombing power. And if I wanted to bomb with her, I would um, basically blow open a section of Mars in this one by three pattern. So I get to do two actions right off the bat. And I think I'll just get it started proper. Let's go on ahead and jump right into it. My first of my two actions will be a drilling action. So, when you do a drilling action, you can play as many cards as you want, as many drill cards, as many drill actions as you want of the same color. So, I could do a double drill action with these two blues, or I could do a single drill action with this single red, or a single drill action with this single yellow. I'm going to do a double drill action. I'm doing a drill action. I'm choosing to play my blues. I'm playing all of them, and that means I get to drill a one by two tunnel. And so, what that means is I come over here to the tunnel stack. Here we go. This is what I'm going to drill. 
uh, because I'm doing I'm drilling through two spaces. Now, there's some rules for when you drill. The main one is any tunnel you create has to lead back to the surface. So I can't just, you know, as you might imagine, I can't just start drilling down here like this because we're on the surface. So this one by two that I'm creating has to, you know, start on these rows. Now there are some restrictions as well. Dirt. You know, these kinds of spaces, they can be drilled by any drill and they can also be bombed. Um, sections that have this kind of steel plating that are tougher earth, they can only be drilled by the matching color. And since I discarded two blues, that means I could drill into this spot. I wouldn't be able to drill into this blue spot with this yellow. If I wanted to get this gold over here, I, you know, I could have done a drill action of just a single gold and that would let me do a one by one over here and I'd collect some gold. But since I'm doing a one by two, I will, I probably want to take advantage of that and drill, well, geez, it's one of the only two blue spaces there are on the board. So I'm going to drill there. Now, I could drill this way so that I get the, oh, what is it? Um, it's not coal, iron. I could get the iron and I could find an ancient artifact if I drill like this, or I could drill like this, which means I'd get some iron and another bomb, so I could do some more bombing later. Now there's one other type of strata, I guess, and that is these stone spaces. The, or, these stone spaces can only be destroyed by bombs. So bombs can destroy regular dirt and stone spaces. Drills can get through regular dirt and their matching color spaces. So those are, uh, those are basically how you make decisions. So I think I will go on ahead and I will drill like this. My, you know, so I basically drilled once like that. Okay. And so I get some iron. And I also collect an artifact. And then I cover this up because that's all drilled. Now you draw randomly, nobody knows. And so what did I find? I found, now I can hold on to this artifact as long as I want. Whenever I want to, I can give it up, draw a card, and get another bomb. So that's just something I got up my sleeve for later. Now, this mineral I collected, this iron, I have to put it on one of the four stacks of cards that represent me either hiring or training my personnel. And you can see all of these starting cards have a total value of 10. Once I have put $10 worth of minerals on one of these cards, I can go on ahead and buy that card and add it to my deck. So my deck becomes more powerful. So I need to be thinking, where do I want to put this? Who um, do I want to hire first? Let's see. I think I like this guy because, well, first of all, he's going to add two victory points to my deck. As soon as I hire him, I will get another bomb. If I hired him, I would immediately get to take a mineral tile from the supply that matches um, one uh, that's already on one of my stacks. So this is kind of a duplicate uh, minerals I have previously mined. This is a get another action, I believe, right? Yeah, this is basically get to do three actions on a turn. And this is normally when you recruit cards, they go into your discard pile. But if I recruit her, she goes directly into my hand so I can use her right away. But I think, well, actually, you know, she's kind of nice too. She's worth three points. She gets me a double yellow. That means in the future, if she's in my hand along with this, I could do a three by one move all at once. So that's pretty cool. But I think I'm going to go with this guy because he has so many special powers. Uh, you know, he, he's a rain so he can mix and match with any drill and allows me to drill any color I want and lets me draw a card every time I use him. He gives me a bomb, etc., etc. Okay, so that was my first of two actions. Is I did a drilling action. Now I get to do one more action. I could do draw, which means I draw two more cards, or I could drill again. Or since I've still got my red character here, I could bomb. And you know what? I think I'm going to bomb. I, uh, since I have one bomb and I have a red character, I will discard her to bomb in this pattern. So that's a one by three. And so I'm going to bomb with this one by three. Now, I have to, you know, the rules still stand. I have to do this in such a way that it touches back to the surface. So, you know, I could come over here like, say, this, and this would get me some iron and it would let me draw two cards. Or I could come out here and get me another bomb and it would also get me some platinum. But I'm going to come right here and I'm going to extend from the tunnel I've already started and do this. One, two, three. That's a really big bombing action. And this is going to, and because um, I'm using a bomb, I can make it through these two stones. So I will get to draw one more card. It goes into my hand. I will get another iron and I will also get an emerald. Okay. And the emerald is worth $8. The iron is worth two. Now, 
And then, so I have blown all that stuff up and I have now extended a tunnel way, way down. Whenever in a given action you collect multiple, um, what do you call them? multiple gemstones or whatever you want to call them, you have to apply all of them to one stack. I can't like say, oh, you know what, I'll put this eight over here and I'll put this two over here. You can't split them up. They all have to go on one guy. And so this eight plus this two, this is ten. This is going to let me hire somebody right now. I think, all right, oh, and, um, let's see. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, that's interesting. The card I just drew was another red. I'm going to go on ahead and spend these eight. Oops. Yeah, there we go. The emerald and the... And so that's a total of ten. And so these now go back into their respective piles. And I have just hired a new character. Or I've trained this girl. And this is worth three points at the end of the game. She gets to do two gold digging actions instead of one, or drilling actions. And her special power of this card is, instead of going into my discard pile, it goes directly into my hand. And that's it, folks. That was the end of my first turn. And at the end of my first turn, um, I've still got three. I'm going to be able to do a really nice triple gold dig next turn. Like this would be really nice to be able to pick up all this gold right here because you can only use gold drill cards on these gold spaces. So, And then I've still got uh, another... Although, I've used up my only bomb. I don't have any more bombs. So I can only use her to drill. I can't use her to bomb because I don't have any more bombs. Although you can see, there's still some bombs out here that I could collect. All right. That was it. That was my first turn. Now it is Jen's first turn. Let's look at her opening hand. She's got a blue, a gold, a red with a bomb, and a blue. Wow! So, like me, she could do a double blue, or she could do a red, or she could do... All right. So, now she's got to start thinking about what is she going to do. Let's see here. Now, actually, one thing I haven't paid attention to, interestingly, is all the achievements. Because these are things you want to be doing, if at all possible. Um, two points will be scored to the first player who, in one action, drills a four-length tunnel as a, as a single move. Now, Jen can't do this right now because she could drill a, uh, a one-space, a one-space, or a two-space tunnel. So, you need to get a bunch of cards in your hand that all match the same color so that you could drill four spaces all at once. Interestingly, my hand, I could almost do it. I can now, right now, drill a three-length tunnel. But I'd have to get another yellow in my hand before I could do this achievement. This achievement, drill at least two steel plate spaces in one action. So, that's pretty cool. And that's something I can do because I'll be able to drill both of those next turn. And then this other one, have purchased at least one pilot of each of the four stacks. So, we're in a race to do that. Now, these end ones are... Th th these uh, major ones are always variations on the same thing. Be the first to hire two reds, two blues, two um, yellows, two reds, two blues, two multicolors. This is the multicolor. Or, or three yellows and three multicolors. So, that's something we have to be bearing in the back of our mind, too, uh, is when we're hiring people, uh, hire them in such a way that it allows us to work towards those achievements. So, anyway, the what is Jen going to do? Hmm. So, right off the bat, she could do a two by one, and you know, since it's blue, she could drill through here, but um, it wouldn't be a particularly useful two by one because she'd go like this, say, and she'd get a lot of dirt. But maybe she just wants to do a single blue and do that one. But you know, that's a bit less effective. Now, on the flip side, she could draw some more cards, and if she could get her other red, because she has another red in her starting deck, then she'd have two, and she could drill that. So I think her first move is, she's going to cross her fingers, hope for the best, and draw cards. She draws two cards. She got another yellow and another blue. All right. Well, so that means here's the other red at the bottom of the deck. But she's not complaining, because for her second move, she is going to drill. She's going to play two yellows. And that means it's a one by two. And she's going to drill through these two spaces right here um, and get herself two gold. Now, golds are worth six, three. So two golds is worth six. She's got to assign that to somebody that she's going to be potentially hiring. Um, let's see. Who does she like? Uh, let's say she goes for this one so she can start really working on more bombing. So now she's spent... She's got six bucks worth of minerals on this. And when she gets to ten, she will have hired that um, card. Okay. So... But more importantly, Jen just successfully drilled two steel plate spaces in one action. So Jen just got this achievement. She just earned it. That's two bonus points. And that can just come over here and, you know, kind of like a bonus to the end of the game. A new one comes out. And this one is at least three mineral tiles of the same type on one pilot stack. So now that's really interesting. 
um, this actually encourages you to try to pay for these people with different colored minerals, and that could make you target different types of minerals on the board. So anyway, so those are Jen's two moves. First she drew a card, and then she did this, and she got a bonus. And so, now at the end of her turn, she's got four cards in her hand, so that's okay. She doesn't have to discard down. This is her discard pile and her draw pile, and, and she still has her bomb. She hasn't used it. Now it is my turn. So, okay. And I am bummed, because I was going to use all these yellows, and I was going to grab that space. But just like that, it is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Let's see. Now, if Jen were to draw two, or Jen, if I were to draw two more cards, I think I have, yeah. I, I'm gonna, my first action is, I'm going to draw two cards. And there's my other yellow. And here's my other blue. All right. And now for my second action, I'm going to do a drill action. And I am going to do a mighty four-length drill action. One, two, three, four. So that's pretty cool because, remember, there was an objective for, in a single action, drill a four-length tunnel. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to drill a four-length tunnel. Now these are all yellow, so I can't drill through these reds. I can't drill through these rocks. Wow, actually. Oh, shoot. Hold on a second. I didn't look at the situation. While I'm in a perfect position to drill a four-length tunnel, I've got a bit of a problem. I can't do it. Because um, there are restrictions to, you know, let's see, actually, if I were to take this two by two. Now, one rule is when you're drilling, you cannot, you have to go in a straight line. So I can't like start drilling like this, say, and then turn and go like this. If you're doing a four length tunnel, it has to be unstopped in one direction and it cannot overlap any existing tunnels. So I can't go like one, two, three, four, because that overlaps an existing tunnel. And remember, you can't drill through rock. So I can't go like this because the rock's in the way. And I can't go like this because I can't drill off the side of the table. Oh wait, no, 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 I can't. I can't go like this because my yellow drills won't go through this blue. So even though I am now in a situation, oh wait, no, I did, I was wrong. There is one. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to drill this four length tunnel. I'm going to start from the surface and go one, two, three, four. Now that's kind of wasteful. I mean, I'm only collecting two things. But I'm doing it because I will have gotten this bonus achievement, which is worth two points to me. And then a new one comes out. Let's see. Perform a drill action using four cards. Oh, and I just did this. Now, there is a rule. You, uh, on a given turn, even if you make a move that would let you get multiple objectives, you can only collect one minor and one major objective per turn. So even though I have just performed a drill action using at least four cards, uh, all these yellows. It doesn't matter because I've already collected a different one for this turn. All right. So anyway, so uh, I did this and what am I going to collect? I'm going to collect an iron and a platinum. And so now let's cover those up. Boop. All righty. And so now these have to go on to the same person. Let's see here. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I could put them both here. And now I'm at nine bucks. I've almost hired this person. With one more buck being put on here, it'd be worth 10. Now the problem is, um, if, you, if, if I do this, chances are later on, maybe say I'll put some gold on here as well, I will be overpaying and you don't get change. Let's say that's eight, nine, uh, that'd be 12 I would get for paying this. I'd be wasting two minerals because he only costs 10. But on the flip side, right before I bought him, I would be able to demonstrate I have at least three mineral tiles on one pilot stack. So it's an interesting choice. Do I want to maybe put this guy, say, over here? And I Actually, oh, she needs 15 bucks to hire, but I could hire this guy. Now, with a single three, I could finish him. Or I could be that much closer to finish. I, I, I think I'll spread it around, because remember, there was also the bonus for being the first to have purchased a pilot in all four stacks. I purchased one pilot. Now I'm very close to a second pilot, and I've started on these other two as well. So, <clears throat> so my two actions were I drew, and then I drilled. And so here's my discard pile. This is my hand of cards. And now at the, it's Jen's turn again. Let's see. Here is her hand. And so she's got a lot of blue in her hand. She could draw another card. She still hasn't used her bomb, so she's got this two by two, and it's a shame. What she'd like to do with this bomb, this, or I'm sorry, this one by two, she'd like to do it right here to draw two cards and get some platinum, but unfortunately she can't reach that space. So I think what Jen's going to do instead, she's going to save her bomber and her bomb for later. She is... Hmm. Hmm. 
one, two, three. So three, she could get this and then get this, but there's one more artifact on this board, and Jen would like to get that artifact if she could, because artifacts can be really, really useful. Plus, whenever all the artifacts of a given board are done, that's when we move deeper into the uh, Mars. So even though Jen could do up to three, she is only going to pay two. So she's doing a two-length tunnel. It's blue. So that means she could come over here, but that's kind of wasteful. Instead, she's going to come over here, and she's going to collect some iron and an artifact. So the iron, let's see, she'll go on ahead and put it on this girl. And so now she's got eight total um, going towards hiring this character. And she gets an artifact. Let's just take one randomly. And, all right, and so there it is. She can use it whenever she wants. And so that was her first action. She did, she did a, a double drill action, I think, for her second action. Hmm. I see. Now, Jen would like to have a third color here. So, I mean, but unfortunately, well, I mean, there's this platinum. If she could get this platinum and put it on here, she'd have the three colors and she would complete this objective. But, oh, Yes, and she can. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. So Jen's next action is going to be, her first action was she did this double drill. Oh, and I should say, since she took, the as soon as the last artifact on a given space is gone, the board moves up, and Jen, because she's the one who triggers it, gets to add depth two. And it's her choice. She could go like this, or she could go like this. It's her choice where she wants to put it. And we have now given ourselves a whole new board of digging to do. And interestingly, since Jen did this on her first action, for her second action, she has first dibs on what is down in this second level. Although what Jen was thinking about doing right now was using her bomb and drawing two cards and getting the platinum she needs so she would earn the objective off of that. But now that this has come out, maybe she wants to be the first to dig down here. Like, for instance, she could use her bomb, and she so this would be free. She'd be getting a bomb back, and she'd be getting some more gold. Uh, let's see, and if she went like this instead... Hmm, so she has to make a choice, and she has to be thinking about, um, you know, she's going to make a move, and then I'm going to make a move. Now, she doesn't know what's in my hand. She knows I don't have any bombs. But if she, she'd be worried about giving me access to this artifact right here so easy if she's not going to chase after it herself. So maybe she wants this side. Yeah, because the artifacts aren't quite so readily available. So Jen's first action was she drilled here, got her the last artifact, which made the second board appear. And now, once all three artifacts are he off of this board, this will slide up, this board will go away, and in a two-player game, the final board will be revealed. And when all the artifacts on that board are, are collected, then the game is over. Now, with more players, there'd be um, another board as well. But anyway, so for Jen's second action, she's going to bomb now, using her bomb and her red card, and she is hitting this space right here, which lets her draw two cards and get a platinum. So she got her platinum. She gets to draw two cards, one, and so now she's got to shuffle her deck. Although, actually, wait a minute, wait. Um, since she could do that in e either order, so let's not have her draw her cards yet. So she is, uh, first she'll take the platinum, then she'll get the cards. So she gets to take the platinum, she puts it on this guy, and now she's way overpaying. She's paying what? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 for this $10 uh, dollar character. She's overpaying by 13, but she now has. Um, one, two, three different types of mineral on that card, so she just earned this two-point objective. And another new one came out, which is four mineral types on a pilot stack. All right, and so all these minerals go away, and this person gets added to her discard pile, and she immediately gets another bomb. So she used a bomb, but she got a bomb right back, and now she's got a double red driller who can do a two by two bombing action. Right, so, her, so she clicked at this stuff. First thing, she got the platinum. Now she gets to draw two cards, so she'll draw one, and now she gets to shuffle her deck, and she's hoping she'll get to draw her special character. Let's see, dee 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 dee. Oh, this is kind of hard shuffling with one hand, but I'm not. You know, trust me, I'm really not memorizing where anything is. I have no idea what I am shuffling. So let's call that shuffling. And um, right, she got to draw two cards, so she's drawing one more. And wow, she got him, or she got her. Cool. Let's see. And you know what? I think before Jen's turn is over, the artifact she previously earned, which lets her draw two cards, she'll just go on ahead and use it right now. So this artifact is out of the game, and she gets to draw two more. 
And so, on her next turn, with this whole big new board available, she is starting out fresh with five cards, including a whole lot. You know, she's got a bomb, she's got all these powerful moves, she's got two reds, three, or, you know, uh, three red cards, two blue cards, a bomb. Wow, she could do a bunch of damage on this second level. And so she's starting out the second level quite well, or the second depth card. But now it is my turn. I've got two cards. They're normal ones, nothing particularly fancy, not a particularly strong bomb. Um, but I do have my artifact. I could trade this in, draw another card, and give myself a bomb if I really wanted to start chasing on this space right now. But you know what? I think I'm going to stop right there because you probably get a pretty good idea of how the game plays. Now, if you'd like, you can hit the button that's on screen or follow the show notes and go to the extended playthrough, and I'll keep playing. Now, maybe I'll actually get all three of these. All that's going to take a while because you can see there's a lot of stone here that we've got to blast our way through. There's a lot of these. Uh, uh, plated areas that we need to have special colored drills to get through. It's a big board that before we make it all the way down here and get these other artifacts. But if you'd like to watch some more action, see some more stuff hired, see some more achievements get made, etc., etc., you can hit the button and go to the extended playthrough, or alternatively, you can hit the other button and go straight to final thoughts. Your choice in five, four, three, two, one.